sneak forward. Last thousand liters over the axles, and we are done. Okay, so. I'm guessing there's more than 8,600 litres left on the fuel, which is the capacity of the harvester, but we can't unload 8,600 litres into the tractor. Only got about 4,000 litres of uh, capacity. Potatoes last year and it's planted something different this year. No, he planted it last year. It's already been harvested again. I'm not looking at any harvesting contracts it looks like this year. Most of the fields have already been planted for spring crop or winter crops. And they're looking to be uh, fertilized. Okay. That was it. Two. I think we're going to get the entirety of the rest of this field in the middle of the brain tank. Twenty percent of this is holding. All right. I kind of like to end this field with the full trailer and less than a full tank of soybeans and the harvester. The last field with the harvesting was also soybeans, so I'll be able to. Well, and, and if that happens, I'll just be able to transport the crop up to to the farm and then uh, meet the harvester in the next field, as opposed to have to come all the way back out here to unload the harvester again. There's somewhere around 4,000 litres in the uh, capacity left in the trailer. And we're just about to get to that point. Get that done. Whatever fits in the rain car will be capacity left in the harvester to go towards finishing off the field. Oh, 
this is taking the time. The reason why I would like to be that is that we can't afford it. That kind of makes yeah, the map feel a little bit more alive. You can see the traffic all the way down there on the main road. Although I still think the cement mixes are a little unrealistic in the number that they have. I mean, there's two in every rotation, the red one and the black one. I prefer to see more sort of box fans that you see or in and around town doing small drops. There's something else in the baby's been doing. His maps is providing a little bit more variety in vehicles. Okay, 65%. sure I didn't spend the money on GPS for the harvester. Harvester is something I can do by yeah, dead reckoning. Kind of the same with planting and uh, plowing and the like. <coughs> the only job I do hate is uh, late season fertilizer or liquid or solid spreading because you can't see the ground for the crop so you can't easily tell where you've been. We've got GPS on the battle track and that will probably remain as our primary go-to vehicle for fertilizing if it needs to be done. So we have that big hardy sprayer. Well, it's not so much big, it's heavy. Very heavy on the tractor. So not something a small tractor can pull around easily. I guess we'll make another double pass and then we'll need to pull the tractor up and empty it or empty into it. But I will try and complete the harvest on this field.
I think I went with his harvest every face. It is underrepresented. The big harvest that we will be going for the next month. Okay, we're done. It's a uh, nice cost. And the uh, trade graph will extend the hose. Pipe thing. the service come winter. Okay, that's full. Cheesy, thanks for the follow and welcome to the stream. Elite Gamer Twitch, welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. Okay, so we've got past year just shy of 5,000 litres, hopefully that's enough. Thank you. Um, let me okay, well, uh, jump over there and we juice the desktop audio. Okay. Hopefully that's a little better. Yeah, it can be kind of difficult for me to uh, check those settings. So thank you for letting me know. Okay, I am... We're definitely going to get all of this in the tank, so that's good. I'm doing good. Um, it's getting on for lunchtime, so I think once we finish this harvest, we'll go and take the header off, uh, and I'll take the crop back to the barn. But we will then be calling it because I need some food. I'm getting kind of hungry. And then uh, maybe I'll skip doing anything off stream and we can pick up next week harvesting the upper field. Sometimes I'll do some stuff off screen so that I don't end up doing the same thing over and over and over and over. It's 
especially things like picking up bales or squashing the silage. SM Dumb. Um, welcome to the street and how are you this Saturday? Uh, yes, unfortunately we're still in lockdown. Although uh, the restrictions have been loosened somewhat. But uh, it's still a good plan not to go out and socialise and stuff so and it's not great weather outside can't tell if it's raining or not but it's very close to thinking about raining so good day to stay indoors I am from the UK I, am, I was born in the east side of London um, in the London boroughs, but not uh, the postal district wasn't London, or wasn't considered to be London. Um, lived around England a lot. I now live in Michigan. relatives in Australia these days. Okay, we need to get in and uh, open this thing up. In fact, my sister's kid went and spent, I would say two or three years over in Australia. But his visa ran out and he's now back in the UK, as far as I'm aware, with his girlfriend working on a farm. As farm labourers, not as farm owners. Whoops. Okay, you're done. Let's back this thing up. And shut it down. So we've still got some grain left in the tank there. We managed, what would that be, 20, 44, just shy of 50,000 litres from this field. Which isn't too bad because it's soybeans and that's a low density crop. So, back in our Challenger. Good, let's put the beacons on and we'll drive from the gap. I tend to prefer to do my road driving from the cab um, just because it's kind of natural to. But, uh, that darned. When it comes to field work, I like to be out of the cab so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. I don't have anything in the likes of a um, we'll sit IR tracker or anything like that, which I think would probably be helpful. Because then you can drive, drive a harvester from the cab and do what comes naturally, which is to look around you. And without that sort of equipment, hardware, PC hardware, you're kind of limited to looking in front of you and then adjusting your view with 
the mouse. And that can be difficult when you're doing lots of different things. Okay. So here we are back at the yard. Oh, come on. Spite of 390 horsepower, we have struggles on that hill. Okay. So, that soybean is emptied. Well, we should probably pull forward. That's the problem. This thing tips quite high. And they need to be forward enough that we don't hit the, the pipe there. does have good elevation so although I can't see what I'm running over I can at least see what buildings I'm about to run into and I think I just did an owl move by turning my neck 360 degrees okay so we'll go back down to the final field for harvesting this year. But for right about now, we are coming to the end of the stream. I will be back next week on Saturday with another instalment from Oakfield Farm where we will possibly do the harvesting in our last field and then probably skip time so that uh, we can get into and through winter sell some crops and make a lot of money okay we'll pull this up here it's really need to go in the field. The auger's on the left side of the harvester, so we're high, fine parking there. Jump out and I'll open the gate. It's weak. Okay then. Yeah, you have fun, Patchwork. And... Have a good rest of your weekend. Let's walk very carefully down the side of the road, try not to get run over. And Siren, Sister, and Cheltenham. Oh, there's a road. You can't get to that road there. That's a kind of a shame. You can't get to that road there. So I think that's the other one that runs all the way up to the top of the the other gate to the yard. Okay, turn that on, turn that on, turn the blinky lights on. And stop. He's all good. stay out of the cab at least for the initial part of this because I want to see what traffic's coming and I want to see what traffic's coming for not just the harvester but also what's following us uh, ok, I'm putting in a white vehicle and in the white right vehicle ok we're lucky. After this oncoming vehicle, we'll be able to pull out. And go, go, go. We'll 
with the bus stop. Yeah, that's what Now drive in the cab. So just up here past the bus stop. I am just drawing to a close. We are repositioning our equipment for the next harvest, but I need to go and get some food. So here we are at the yard, at the farm road. Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. Don't hit the gate post. And there we go. Hopefully, the Linda may do it as well. Do that, do that. It's uh, Bailey, and I will have to look up. Uh, garage, we are using the Bailey TB16. It's uh, 21,700 litres and a good prototypical size for um, UK European farms. That's hay, I'm pretty sure. Okay, back that off. Red one, Joskin. Oh, um, that is. Hang on a sec. Um, and it is on the mod hub, so you shouldn't have too much problems finding it unless you're um, on a console, in which case I don't think it's available on a console. Um, it is. And we'll do it from this screen. Pretty sure it's Jackson. Johnston. So you get the Johnston flatbed trailer, so you can use that for square bales. You get the creels which mount front and back. Um, you put that pallet on the back of the trailer and attach it just like you would attaching a trailer to it. And that'll put creels on the front and back for round bales. This is a forestry module which puts the bars on the side so your logs don't fall off. And finally, you've got the livestock module which allows you to carry 12 sheep, 10 pigs, or 6 cows. Um, no horses. And for that one, you have to reverse the trailer very carefully underneath it and then attach that, just like you attach any other equipment. So, Johnston, wasn't it? Yeah. Johnston Brothers trailer and if you want to see it used in real life it's one that Ollie from Ollie's farm uses indeed yes and I saw it on Ollie's farm and then I caught it on the mod hub and I thought that looks like the trailer that's on Holly's farm, and turns out it was. So, good job to the modder that made it. Now, can we have Holly's farm as a map? <laughs> okay, we'll plant that there out of the way. Actually, swing it round. But as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh yeah, that's used by Ollie on his farm. Maybe 
I'll use that instead of the trailer I had, which was uh, Joskin Animal Trailer. What do I have as Joskin? Oh, the Flegel. No, I was using this one. Now, obviously, Ollie's trailer is a little bit more expensive than that one, but and it carries. This one carries more animals, but I figured I like this one. Plus, I need a flatbed trailer for hauling stuff and uh, bales, so and and logs. I've actually used it as a logging trailer as well, so I kind of like it. It's it works very well for our purposes which is it might be a little bit more expensive than a dedicated trailer but it has multiple uses which means I'm saving money because I don't have to buy three different trailers and yeah the other one I'm in the Bailey trailer I'm looking at trailers that size for this farm in spite of the fact I could get away with 60 70,000 litre trailers. Um, most of the tippers we're using are going to be in this style. That one. I'm going to get that for shipping to market because I do have a semi truck. But uh, I'm looking at a lot of these smaller trailers. There's 22,500. The Gilbert trailers, 30,000. That's, that's a little on the large side, but I could get away with using it. Uh, we've got a series of Cramper trailers. That's 40,000. That's 25. That's a good size as well. I mean, the last time I played a farm, I ended up using... Oh, where is it? Oh. Not even that. Uh, I ended up using a 60,000 litre auger wagon to move the grain off the field and that's that's realistic for Australia and um, America, not so much for Europe. Anyway, there we are all set up. We will be harvesting this farm in the next, or oh, this field, sorry, in the next episode. And if we get a chance, we'll be putting down some oilseed radish in both of them. But for right now, it is coming up on one o'clock. I am hungry and I need to eat. So everybody have fun with what remains of your weekend. And I will catch you next week on Oakfield Farm. I'm out of here.